Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, this is kind of breaking news, you know, Barbara Walters has died at the age of 93. Groundbreaking, glamorous, <laughs> how the legendary journalist overcame childhood with her super club impresario father to become one of the of TV's most successful interviewers during her decades spanning career. And that is one of the things that I have to give Miss Barbara Walters credit for. Um, and the fact that she um, was a true journalist. And it's something that, that's a rarity now because we don't have it. We have a bunch of people who profess to be journalists, um, but they're pundits or uh, people that don't do any research on any particular stories. Um, if somebody tell them something, they'll repeat it or... Uh, no matter how accurate it is, and they don't spend the time to find out if it's true or not. That is not Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters was thorough. Barbara Walters uh, had integrity, in my opinion. So Barbara Jill Walters, born on September 25th, 1929 in Boston, uh, her father, Lou Walters, ran a supper club and was in show business. His fortunes were up and down throughout her childhood, according to her memoir. Her older sister, Jacqueline, had an intellectual disability, and after graduating from college in 1951, Barbara helped support her family financially. After stints in PR and at Red Book, Barbara got a temporary writer job on Today in 1961. She ev eventually became Today Girl, a to get Today Girl, then a reporter, and finally the next morning, uh, show's first female co-host, and that was in 1974. Um, she won a daytime Emmy that year, the next year, I mean. ABC was, um, tried and wooed her, starting a bidding war and a media frenzy. Walters became the first woman to co-host a nightly news program in 1976 and signed a five-year contract with ABC for an unprecedented $1 million per year. So while professionally Walters was doing well, her first marriage with Robert Katz ended as her second marriage to Lee Goober. After three miscarriages, Goober and Walters adopted a baby girl in 1968. Uh, her Barbara Walters specials, which premiered in 1976, were a huge success. The year later, she joined 2020 and became his co-host with Hugh Down. Uh, Walters' third marriage to Merv Adelson also ended in divorce in 1992. In 1997, she helped to create The View a successful and influential show. Walters is survived by her daughter, Jacqueline Danforth. Barbara Walters spent, a I mean, more than 50 years in television. That's a long time, people. 
She interviewed everyone from heads of state to Hollywood, uh, Glittertari, along the way she turned into an icon herself, becoming the first woman to co-anchor a nightly news program and co-host many others, winning awards, writing two books, and creating The View, which is still in rotation today. Throughout her trailblazing uh, decades spanning career, Walters went from a today's girl in the 60s when women didn't cover hard news to the morning show's first female co-host in 1974 for which she would earn her first daytime Emmy the next year. In 1976, she was the first woman to co-anchor ABC Evening News and will go on again to co-host 2020 and by 1997 create and co-host The View, a successful daytime talk show that has been on the air for over 20 years. She officially retired in 2014. For you, those of y'all, I didn't know it had been that long. Um, Walters, known for her work ethic, uh, whose roots trace back to a childhood spent in various cities. Her father, Lou Walters, ran a popular nightclub chain, Latin Quarter, which was frequented by the likes of Roy Cohn and Joseph Kennedy. He also worked in show business, which led to a financial highs and lows for the family. Walter's older sister, Jacqueline, had um, a disability. So again, Walter spent a lot of time caring for her family. Three times married and three times divorced. She survived by her daughter. I'm different on camera. Uh, Walters told Vogue in 28. I have guts. I have no doubt and I have no fear when I'm working. And um, that's different. She interviewed Fidel Castro. Her family moved around a lot and lived in Boston, Miami, and New York City, where at one point they had a magnificent penthouse on Central Park West. And according to her autobiography, growing up, Walter spent a lot of time at her father's club watching the shows and memorizing the routines all while attending Sarah Lawrence College. Uh, she considered dropping out to pursue acting but stayed in school, graduated in 1951 with a degree in English. Above um, I mean she was just a class act. A lot of y'all know that she did have um, a relationship with a prominent, well, yeah, an affair, basically, with a, what was it, what was it, Edward Burke, a black congressman that she had an affair with that was very controversial back then. And, um, but she's worked with the best. Harry Reasoner. Um, she's just been great. She's been great. Well, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Again, Barbara Walters has... 
made her final fur uh, curtain call. See y'all in the next video.